today we will discuss on the ela passing process now what are we going to do here we are going to pass any given string provided we have an ela passing table and how is the ela passing table obtained this is obtained from the context free grammar based on any one of the ela passing technique namely the sla cla or lala for all the three passing techniques the parsing process of passing the given input is going to be the same therefore we'll take an example and see how it works for the grammar the uh, passing table is provided here it can be based on sla cla and lala now to pass the given string we have three main things one is the stack the third second one is the input and the third one is the actions why do we need a stack is if you remember in theory of computation for a context free grammar to be modeled as an push down automata we have the control unit the input as well as the stack and therefore for passing any input string based on sla parser or lalr or cla we have an stack uh, which pushes in and pops out the characters as well as the states we'll see them how it happens to start with the stack will have the initial state 0 to be pushed in before that you have an dollar the n marker and then above it is the initial state 0 invariably 0 access the initial state and say so we have pushed in 0 and input has the input string and how do i have an action shift here it is based on the topmost element of the stack that is 0 and the first character in the input string that is star so zero on star we are having an uh, entry called as s4 which is shifting to item set 4 so here the action is shift and what we do when we have an action shift the leftmost character of the input string or the first character in the input string has been pushed on to the stack so we are pushing it on to the stack now for every grammar symbol there has to be an output state so how do i define the output state is the zero access the input state star access the input symbol so zero on star it is shifting to 4 therefore we have 4 as the item set here therefore we have shifted in in the input character since we have shifted the leftmost character the remaining stays in the input string now the next in set step is to take the topmost element of the stack now it's 4 4 on the leftmost character what is available which is id So four on ID is again shifting to item set five. So you have a shift action. We have shifted ID and we have five. We have equal to an ID. Now again, what am I supposed to do? Take the topmost element of the stack that is five and the leftmost character which is equal to. Now if you see, it is five and equal to. It is reducing by the fourth production. So now what can be the fourth production? Fourth production is L produces ID. and that is what we have done here it is reduced by l produces id so till id will be popping out the contents from the stack that is to in twice the number of the grammar symbols on the right hand side so if id you have only one grammar symbol so two symbols will be popping out from the top of the stack that is 5 and id has to be popped out so 5 and id is popped out what you have is 4 now this id has to be replaced by the left hand side of the production that is what you call it as reduction so uh, id is been removed then we have to push in l once l is pushed what happens to the next output state so it is it is 4 on l so 4 on l the output state is 8 so we have the entry 8 here it's again 8 now it is 8 on equal to 8 on equal to is reducing by fifth production which is r produces l what does it mean till l i am supposed to pop it out and l has to be replaced by r so that is what is happening in the next step so what we are doing we are popping out till l and instead of l we will be placing r and then you say that you have one sec sorry 
uh, replaced it by r and it is 4 on r which is 7 so we have the entry as 7 here now it is 7 on equal to which means again reduce it by the third production that is l produces star r now you have two grammar symbols so how many symbols should i pop out i should pop out four symbols so it is 7 r 4 and star so all till star it has been popped out what we have is 0 now a star r has to be replaced by l so it is 0 l 0 l is 2 so we have the entry as 0 l 2 here now it is 2 on equal to so what do we do it is a shift so you shift equal to so 2 on equal to would be shifting to 6 so we have shift here and we have 6 here all these are pushed onto the stack and then again it is 6 on id 6 on id is again shift 6 on id is shift so what we do is 6 id it is shifting to item set 5 so you have 5 here and then 5 on dollar sign 5 on dollar is reduced by l produces id so till id i am supposed to remove it so we are removing till id id is being replaced by l and then 6 on l is 8 so you have 8 here now what happens again it is 8 on dollar sign so 8 on dollar is reduced by the fifth production that is r produces l so this l would be replaced by r so you have r 6 and r is 9 so you have 9 here it is again 9 on dollar when it is 9 on dollar it is reduced by the first production so you have reduced by s yes, produces l equal to r so now how many characters should i remove i should remove six symbols because you have three grammar symbols on the right hand side l equal to and r we are removing six symbols so if we remove six symbols till l we are supposed to remove it so again in the place of this you have to sub push in yes because the l is your r is replaced by the left hand side of the production so s has been replaced so it is 0 s it is 1 0 s 1 now what am i supposed to do you don't have anything on the input side so you have only dollar sign which indicates the n marker which means we have read all the characters from the input string and only the n marker remains so it is 1 on dollar sign which is accepted and therefore the string has been accepted so this is how we pass a string for any LR passes and the, for SLR, CLR and LALR you will be able to construct a parsing table and we will be passing a string based on the table what we have constructed and these are the steps what we are supposed to follow while construction and this table is required for uh, writing it the stack content here is just a simulation part for us to understand so this is one which is required for us to uh, write it down so that you show the steps of passing thank you